Why have cloud native technologies become increasingly important to telcos as they look to move beyond virtualization and seek proven methodologies to scale out their operational requirements? We have a shorthand for cloud native to say it has three parts to it. One is a containerization that you uh, divide up your workload and you wrap it with uh, all the dependencies that it needs, but try and make it as small as possible. Two is microservices, which is that as you do that, you can divide your application up into different parts and have each of those developed by separate teams running at their own velocity. And then when you have a bunch of containerized microservices, you tend to need a central orchestration function that can help organize and run those for you. Uh, the key thing that we have to un understand is from a process and a mindset perspective, cloud appears much more agile, much more faster development, much more real time, you know, hey, I got changes, let's push it out in production, let's see what happens, right? That's what the public cloud players are doing. So there's a process angle that we need to borrow in telecom, right? Then there's the technology angle. And this is where, you know, technologies like Kubernetes come in, technologies like containers come in. And LF Networking and Kubernetes CNCF have been collaborating significantly to bridge that gap. Telcos are transforming their infrastructure. I mean, most of the applications and network functions that were delivered previously or are being delivered are through virtual machines. That's why OpenStack was so much so important. But now, services and applications are being disaggregated into microservices, and they run in containers. Uh, containers provide a lot of benefit in terms of restart time, portability, um, you know, creating a development platform as well as an integration platform. They're doing CI, CD at the same time. So essentially the whole infrastructure is changing to become more cloud-like, where it's completely abstracted from the hardware infrastructure that's underneath. And that provides them a lot of portability, reusability, efficiency, uh, burstability. These are, these are topics that are really, really important to telcos. And that's why cloud native is really uh, important to them to build that infrastructure. Cloud native is key. So the more uh, we make networks cloud native, uh, the easier it's going to be to interwork in between a hyperscale cloud and, and telco NFB de deployments. So, so the best practice would be following client native pa uh, patterns. Uh, and the more we go there, the, the better we, the easier it's going to be to interoperate. The reality is that telecoms is not known as necessarily being the bleeding edge industry. It tends to be uh, a little bit further behind. And so as Kubernetes and cloud native has taken over cloud computing and enterprise software, a lot of, really all the telcos have said, hey, we would like to move our development velocity from doing quarterly updates or monthly updates to getting to weekly or daily or what most enterprises do, which is dozens of times per day being able to make changes and deploy that into production. It's uh, very challenging to exploit all the benefits of telco, of NFB and cloud if you, if you don't have workloads that benefit from scale, from elasticity, from predictability. So you would be limited if you work with traditional uh, silo apps in a cloud environment, you don't get the best out of it. So the more cloud native you go, the more you benefit from uh, all the capabilities driven by cloud. I think uh, part of the trick is finding like what are the pain points that, uh, that people are running into today with their current infrastructure. And then we can uh, take a look at, is this something that cloud native will help solve? And I think that there's a, a variety of different types of problems that uh, we're able to integrate both of them together and solve real problems today. And that can be the first step towards, uh, towards uh, bringing in cloud native into these environments. And we may not move everything to cloud native uh, ever. I think it'll be a, a mixture. Like we'll have things that work really well in cloud native. There'll be some things that work really well in their current existing environment. You can't tell everybody, stop your development and innovation on your current platform and wait. So you're going to keep merging back new innovation that's happening um, from the cloud native and the new technologies coming out. When they're ready, you'll just say, let's adopt some of those principles and some of the technology. You'll have 5G and the current NF um, platforms will keep moving forward. It will not be a big bang approach that from day one uh, from one day to the other, let's say, uh, we would switch off the old and everything is on the new, right? 
So um, we took um, up to now decisions to do it service by service. Yeah, modular base, like you said, um, moving first voice and data um, into um, the virtualized environment. And I'm pretty sure we will take a similar approach moving into a cloud native um, open source world. My recommendation would be to not reproduce, not fork and reproduce, but instead to try to work out how to stay in sync with the enterprise community. Let the enterprise side take the risk. Like all the startups and medium-sized corporations will adopt early and then the, inter the large enterprises will then adopt when the risk is low and then Telco can then adopt on top of that once they know what works and what doesn't and uh, help stabilize the entire system. So how do you bring the best of the container world to the best of the telecom world? Uh, no one answer exists, and we're going through the hard roadmap of every feature, making sure that as we bring the two technologies together, the telcos can still maintain their services, service level, their, their way of doing things, while borrowing the portability, the speed of innovation, and the microservices technology that we all know and love. I think if you just think about container platforms, Kubernetes is the de facto standard, right? It's open source. So it will be definitely part of it. And we, we strongly believe in it yeah, to collaborate um, in the open source community. So in the, in the long run, as, as Kubernetes and Cloud Native really start to take off in those environments, I believe that both uh, enterprise and telco can succeed, can succeed together in this space rather than uh, trying to build two separate things that just don't uh, ever talk with each other. So we don't see CNCF's job as to define a single platform. We are. Um, hosting a set of projects that we do want to have work well together. We certainly think there's a big advantage to choosing CNCF hosted projects because we do have some additional interoperability guarantees, but each vendor can put together a platform and then it is ultimately up to each telco to decide which of those different piece parts they want to work with. I think cloud native is, is really the, the thing that makes it at scale, right? So virtualization delivers a lot of benefit, don't, don't get me wrong there. Um, but to be able to scale, also to bring it into the 5G context, IoT and all these um, kind of things, and that's where Cloud Native really plays. And, and my big message is we would love for the telecom operators to get involved. That uh, they, very, they are very welcome in the Cloud Native ecosystem.